So before the video begins guys, I'd just like to say thanks for all the support on the last video. Um, that's why I'm doing this one, because it received so much praise. But um, anyway, so first I'm going to get into the gameplay, and then after that I'm going to let you know how you can join the field, and my thoughts on this compared to the Donnybrook field. I know I've been saying I'm going to be doing a gaming video, but honestly I have not been gaming at all. Um, I really need to do one, but for now, you're just going to have to do with this. Sorry about that. Uh, I, don't know. I was like, oh, that's f***ing easy. <laughs> yeah, let's just take it that way. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know why they cut off the middle. So these are some clips from the CQB field down in Brisbane, held by Newtown. Um, this is just the last game. I thought we were going to be playing more, but we didn't. So this is the only game that got recorded. Behind this wall. Swing out there, and I'm going to come peek close. All right, get ready? Go! So before we get too far into the gameplay, I was not a fan of the fact that they cut off the middle center of the field as it ruined their pretty well done three lane design. I know it kind of changed up the way of the map, but there wasn't really like a middle area, so it didn't work well in my opinion. Ah! There's no way anyone can move through that choke point, so I decided to move to the left as it had more options. <laughs> is there a guy in there? Get in! Oh, is there a guy right in there? Hey boys, I think he got here. Bang bang. Sorry bro. Gun hits count? I know he definitely didn't hit me the first time, but I wasn't sure if gun hits counted because this was a new field. So I went and asked the ref, he said that they did, and I went and respawned. So, sorry to that guy, now you got a bit frustrated. Come on, I'm out of here, bro. Oh, How's that? So much crashing, huh? Really good. There's tons of people in there. Oi, oi, go for a guy. Oh, I think I got him as well. One of the main issues with playing on a paintball field is the fact that there is paint absolutely everywhere and it got on everything. I'm sure you can see here that it was all over my hands, my gun, and as well all over my gear which absolutely sucked because some of the stuff can't go through the washing machine so you had to hand clean it like my guns 
and my chest harness, which absolutely sucks and is not what you want to do when you come home from gel softing. Wait, if you guys shooting there, can you cover me? I'm gonna try and move out of here. Yeah. Just shoot down there. Oh. Yeah. Can I get through there? Uh, oh. I got it. Yeah, not falling I got kind of annoyed here because this guy completely overshot me despite the fact that he wasn't even the person that tagged me in the first place. But I thought this was a really good spot and I decided to make a run for it again and see if I could get some more kills. So I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and I'm just going to get into a quick um, comparison between Donnybrook and CQB from my experience. So first of all, I probably will not be going back to CQB just because it is so far away and I just like the variety of the Donnybrook games more. However, I did really enjoy the fact that all the buildings felt just so well built. Obviously, Dave, the um, owner of the Donnybrook field has put everything together himself and I'm assuming this building has been put together by professional builders so while Donnybrook is fun to play on this definitely looks more aesthetically pleasing and professional um, with that being said though definitely would be playing at Donnybrook more just because of all of the variation and as I said the Donnybrook field actually does work just as well it this one just looks nicer. Also, there's so much paint and cleanup required. I actually spent probably around an hour to two hours cleaning up, and I also broke a gun due to the slipperiness of the paint, which absolutely sucks. But apart from that, um, there should be a zoom cam coming soon, which I've purchased to make these videos even better and to spread awareness about gel softing and all the fields. Um, I, I need to do a gaming video at some point, and hopefully at some point in time I'll get down to the Nuketown field, which is the last field in Queensland. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.